there quickly if um, the police come because they got like local police. Tamila, mate. Tamila. Guys, changing money wants to change money. Be careful about changing money on the streets in Tanner. It's dodgy. They, they do have the real banknotes, but they'll trick you. They'll they'll show you like one millionaire Harry in exchange for your dollars, what you want, and then they'll they'll sleight of hand it and end up giving you seven hundred thousand dollars instead seven hundred thousand Harry Harry instead of a million. And it's dodgy. If you're gonna change your money, change it in a bank. You get the same rates, if not better. But they're everywhere, these money changing guys, there's another one. At the night time, this is just full of homeless people and um, prostitutes, this whole area. This is Natamila, guy trying to sell me a knife. Don't need a knife. This is the, the main central boulevard here. We'll go and have a little look over here, the central boulevard. This guy here, he, he parks people's cars for them. Um, if you want to, this is free parking right away along here. But if you want to park your car, that guy there, he guides you in to the parking space and then wait for you to come back and then guide you, guide you out and then expects a present for doing it so there you go here's the main boulevard here Let's see if we can quickly get over without getting run over have a little wander around see what's up here We've got the old train station at the very end that building at the very end that you can see in the distance over there i don't know if you can quite make it out but that's the old train station there's no trains there anymore all the train tracks are broken. I don't know what happened to the train company, but I've been here for 10 years and there's never been a train here that I've seen. You get them in Fenneran Sewer, I think there's, there's a train. I don't know whether it's for passengers or just carrying stuff. They used to have all this locked off so the public, you couldn't walk along, up, walk on here, but they've opened it all up. They took the barriers down and now everybody can walk on here. I think this is like the, the town hall. And on the other side of it is the police, the, the city police headquarters for the, metro, um, the municipal, municipal police, which is basically the local police. You get police national who are a bit higher up than the police municipal. The municipal deal with the local situations and the police national deal with everything. got a fountain in the middle there but it's not on at the moment normally they have water in it but there's no water there maybe there's a water shortage who knows I'll try and come back here tonight and show you that show you what it's like tonight at a night time but it's dodgy it's a it's 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 fairly safe in a way but it's also dangerous in another way you can get pickpocketed you can get robbed you can get your phone snatched, maybe, I don't know. But I don't. So I'm gonna go up here to go have, have lunch at a restaurant called The Artist. If it's still open, it's two o'clock now, so I don't know whether it's open for lunch, but I might have to just grab a quick pizza or something like that. These Raptors are, are everywhere. These Ford Raptors, they're pretty cool. Like, they cost a lot of money though. I think they're around about 200 million Ariari, about 45,000 US dollar. But a beast of a car. You're gonna, you're gonna buy a car in Madagascar. You want a Mitsubishi L200 like this, or a Range Rover, Land Rover, Toyota Hilux, something like that. You need a four-wheel drive, really. You can even get one of these Hyundai Star X's, like the one in front here. You can get them four-wheel drive. Nine, nine place which are pretty good the only other cars to get is a Land Cruiser really or a Toyota Prada but the rest of the cars like these Chryslers and that there is, there is a Chrysler dealership now I think in Madagascar and Tanner but um, I wouldn't recommend buying an American car because the parts are just not available for them you know and when they break down, you, they, they broke down for like three or four months at a time, like. Salama, ha, in Volvo. 
<laughs> so there's a Hotel de France there right in front of us. That's um that's a good hotel to stay in. It's expensive though. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom into it. The right on the boulevard, the boulevard the independence it, it is. Centreville, right right in the centre of Antananarivo. Expensive but nice. The other nice hotels that you've got is the Carlton. But it costs about like three million a night to stay in the Carlton, three million Ariari, which is a lot of money. You can buy a, mo a moped like this for three million Ariari. So, so we'll go and have a look around here, see what else there is knocking around. It used to, used to be, this used to be the main place to buy cars if you wanted to buy a second hand car. You come here and all the car parking spaces be taken about 6.30 in the morning by people who sold the cars but the government banned them from parking here and moved them on to somewhere else so now the best best way to find a second hand car is Facebook marketplace really that's what I use anyway or you can just look around and you'll see for sale signs in the back you've got to watch out for trip hazards look at this here it's like you can proper trip over stuff everywhere. You everywhere there's holes and dips in the road. Dangerous. I broke my toe about a month ago. Snapped it right in half. Really hurt. I let it heal naturally. It took about a month and a half. This is the gastro pizza building just over there. Just there. It's, used to be an office building. As a faddy. Used to be an office building. But um, they changed it into a pizza area after it got blown up by terrorists about 2012 or something like that. I don't know why they blew it up. I don't know which ter terrorist group it was. But there you go. Get a lot of uh, kids around here trying to um, trying to beg for money all day long and all night long. They're there begging. So there you go. So we'll have a look, look around here, see what's happening. Salama! As a faddy, as a faddy. Let's go and have a look at this restaurant, see if it's open. This, um, just behind me, that on the corner, just there, that's the Glacier. That's like one of the main bars where all the tourists go. It's um, got live music of a night. It's just heaving with prostitutes every night. Absolutely heaving with them. There's more prostitutes than there is people customers like work or, or workers working staff like this <laughs> it's full of them good bank there for ATM if you need an ATM it's a good bank to use BNI is it BNE BNE BNI so we're gonna have a look up here as you can see, the roads are just gridlocked with traffic all the time in Tanner. It's a nightmare of a place if you want to drive around it. It can take you like two hours. In the, in the peak hour, in the morning and lunchtime, and at like four or five o'clock, it's heaving with cars and it's just bumper to bumper. And it's two o'clock now and there's, there's still traffic jams. <laughs> And then just here is, is the artist restaurant just here so I'll go in there see if it's open see if I can get a bite to eat do cooked chickens here on the right you ever fancy a cooked, cooked chicken there they are just there expensive though this is the artist here this is a nice hotel if you ever want to stay in Tanner. This is a good hotel to stay in. So I'll end this video here because I don't want to go sticking this video camera in the artist really. But there you go. I'll just let you have a little peek as we go in. Give us a like, give us a sub. Check my videos out. That's it for now.